I believe that Senator Obama has taken the measure of that distance in his own life and in his work. And I think he understands in his heart the cost of that distance in blood and in suffering in the lives of everyday Americans. And I believe that as president, I think he would work to restore that promise to so many of our fellow citizens who have justifiably lost faith in its meaning. After the uh, disastrous administration of the past eight years, what we really need is we need somebody to lead us in an American reclamation project. Now, in my job, in my job, I travel around the world and I occasionally play big stadiums, just like Senator Obama. And I've uh, continued to find wherever I go that America remains a repository of people's hopes and possibilities and desires. And that despite the terrible erosion to our standing in the world accomplished by our recent administration, we remain for many, many people this house of dreams. And 1,000 George Bushes and 1,000 Dick Cheney's will never be able to tear that house down. They will, however, be leaving office. That's the good news. The bad news is they'll be leaving office, dropping the national tragedies of Katrina, Iraq, and our financial crisis in our laps. Our sacred house of dreams has been abused, it's been looted, and it's been left in a terrible state of disrepair. It needs care. It needs saving, and it needs defending against those who sell it down the river for power for a quick buck. It needs strong arms. It needs a citizenry with strong arms, hearts, and minds. It needs someone with Senator Obama's understanding, his temperateness, his deliberativeness, his maturity, compassion, toughness, and faith to help us rebuild our house once again. And most importantly, it needs you and me. It needs us. It needs us to rebuild our house with the generosity that is at the heart of the American spirit. A house that's truer and big enough to contain the hopes and dreams of all of our fellow citizens because that's where our future lies. And we will rise or we will fall as a people by our ability to accomplish this task. And now I don't know about you, but I know that I want my house back, I want my America back, and I want my country back. So, I say now's the time to stand with Barack Obama and Joe Biden, roll up our sleeves, and come on up for the rising.
long black eyes burning bright May your precious blood bind me As I stand before your fiery Sky. 